Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing? I turned that off. I know I did. Okay. I know I turned that off. I knew I did. I knew I did. I knew I did. Okay. Get that done. Okay. Hey guys. It's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Whoop, whoop. How's it going? Hey guys. Don't forget to like, share, and follow, 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 please. Okay, tonight we are going to be making this roaster. Isn't it cute? Yay! 31 days? Wow. Wow, wow. Hey, Pat. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so excited. Isn't this just adorable? I am doing good. I felt like I was getting my cold back again this weekend. Had a headache this weekend, but hey, I'm feeling better now. Hey, Deborah. So this is what we're going to make. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Hey, Pat. All right. So let's get started. Hey, Dora. How's it going? I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to meet everyone. I'm so super excited. Hey, Mary. So, let's get started. Let's get started. It's after midnight. Oh, well, thank you for watching. Hey, Gail. All right. So, I have this mesh from Joann's. Um, I got this, I don't know, a while ago. And I had it in my stash up there. Leftover, um from other projects I did. So I have this and a black one. I only have a couple pieces of the black one, so I'm just gonna use the black here and there. So we're gonna get started. Hey, Mary Ellen, hey, Luann. So we're, I cut this to 20 inches. And we're gonna go ahead and get it going. I know you guys, I am so stinking super excited. I cannot wait till Wreath Makers Live. Hey, Colleen. Um, you know, I just can't wait. I really cannot wait. I'm so excited to meet everyone and learn new stuff, hopefully. And, you know, just have some fun. And before that, I'm going to be at the beach for two weeks. So how can you beat that, right? Okay, and like I said, I have a couple of these. So I'm just going to, um, hey Peggy. This is black, the same thing, it's just in black. And I'm just going to put these here and there. Thanks, Gail. Hey, Brenda. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put these here and there. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Get started. So, what is everyone up to tonight? I can't believe the weekend went really fast. Really fast. It's just crazy. Crazy. Hey, Sherry. So if you guys are going, hey Tabitha, to Wreath Makers Live, make sure you come and say hi. I want to meet all of you guys. I really can't. I really can't. Like, I'm so excited to just meet everyone in person and say hey. Oh, I bet it was so much fun. It looked like so much fun. Was that the first time you went, Linda? Hey, Ellie. You know, just to meet everyone in person. You know, because all I can see is this little... Hey, Peggy! Microwaving dinner. I will be in North Myrtle Beach a week from this Friday. A week from this Friday! I know, I can't wait. I'm so excited. So, my lives are going to be a little wonky because... My lives, um, you know, because being with the fam, oh, you went last year too? Oh, awesome. Because of being with the family, my lives are probably going to be shopping and probably, you know, 
during the day and that kind of stuff so um, and I'll probably post you know some videos of you know repeat um, lives I did stuff like that um, you only live an hour and a half that's or a half hour that's awesome Whew. well so please 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 stick with me while I'm away and having fun but like I said I'm gonna um I will be doing lives from like um, when I go shopping because I know I'm going to go shopping, you know, a couple places when I'm down in Myrtle Beach and stuff like that. But I'm just going to have fun and, you know, spend time with the fam because it's going to be a lot of fun. So the second week, my sister Pat's coming down. My sister Sharon's. Oh, no. My sister Sharon's coming down. The second week, it's just going to be like a girl's week. Oh, I went there one time, Kate May. Hey, Janet. That was fun. It was That was like 10 years ago. Hey, Cheryl. Um, I went to Kate May. That was a lot of fun. I could do that again. I'm doing good. How about you? Like I said, the black I only have a couple of, so I'm just going to sprinkle them here and there. I'm not going to put a lot of them. I think I only have like four or five pieces of it. But, you know, I'm trying to use up some of the um, mesh I have sitting around. Hey, Mary. So, when I'm down in Myrtle Beach, I know I'm going to go to, like, Carolina Pottery. And I want to go to, um, what's the other one? Carolina Pottery and Old Time Pottery. Going up to Maine. Ooh, hey, Deb. So, I know I'm going to hit that Tommy's Wholesale. So, it's going to be fun. But, you know, we're going to have a lot of family time. So, I'm looking forward to that. With all the grandkids. So I know that's going to be a good time. The Christmas store. Hey, Jerry Lynn. Is that at, um... Is that at Broadway at the beach? The Christmas store? I think I've been there before. But, you know, just having a good time. So I know I won't have my set Monday and Thursday lives, but oh no, Virginia Beach, no. Myrtle Beach is in South Carolina. So that is probably five or six hours away. Oh no, for three weeks, that's awesome. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, we, we just always go to Myrtle Beach. It's just our favorite spot. We go there every year. We've done it for, oh my goodness, probably 35 years. We only ever missed like one year, and that was the year my grandson was born, which was 10 years ago. And that year, my husband and I went to Cape May for, um, you know, a couple days. But, yeah, we just love it. So it's just fun. This mesh came from Joann's probably a couple years ago. It's been a while. The Outer Banks. Uh, I know, we're just such creatures of habit. We go to the same place all the time. But I love it. I really do. Yeah, like I said, I'm just sprinkling in the black here and there. Because um, I only have a couple pieces of it, and I don't think I have any more of this left. So I thought I'm just going to take what I have left over and use it. So from Emerald Island, I heard that's beautiful too. Oh, yeah, we we just love it there. We really do. We just we go there every year. Hey, Jessica, Miss Cubby, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to um, like, follow, and share, please, if you guys would. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. We, we, um, I grew up going to the mountains. My parents had a um, place up, a mountain house up in Penn State, and um, 
So I went to the mountains all the time growing up. I'm sorry, these are cut to 20 inches. I'm sorry, I'm just too busy yapping. These are cut to about 20 inches. Oh, you are? Oh, that'll be fun. I haven't tried chalk paint. I know, I do like the mountains though. That's a lot of fun too. I used to hike up the mountains all the time and shoot guns and ride four wheelers. You'd rather go to the mountains? Yeah. <clears throat> Pat, you're funny. When I'm down at my sister Pat's, uh, the Monday night before I go to Wreath Makers Live, we're going to do a live from her house. And I'm going to have her make some bows or something. Right, Pat? I'm going to do something from her house. Oh, you're from Penn State? My husband went to Penn State. Okay. One more burnt black down here. Hey, from Oklahoma. I cut today. Yeah, we're going to have you do a pat. So that'll be fun. So that is what, July 29th, I think it is. We're going to do that from Pat's house. So Pat's going to be with me the, that last... Um... Oh, no! <gasps> Deb! Oh, boy, that's not good. Oh, from hot, hot, hot Oklahoma. All right. So we did just like four pieces of, um, oh, I missed one down there, of the black just here and there, just to give it a little more um, color. My husband is in sales, so he travels all the time. Hey, Brenda from Mississippi. How are you? Um, so he travels all the time, so he would be more than happy not to travel a lot. So, last one here. Hey Bridget, how are you? Oh, you do? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Yep, my husband went to Penn State. Okay, now we have the bottom row done. Oh, man. Okay, so we have the bottom row done, and like I said, I just put black here and there, like every two, because I only had four or five of them. So I won't put one on the top. So that's the bottom row. So now we're going to go to the top row. Now, what I did do, like on the bottom row, with just the half pipe cleaners, is I go ahead and tuck those um, half pipe cleaners under, because I don't put ribbon in them. So now we will move to the top row. Oh, <laughs> you didn't miss much, Deb. Not much. I can't believe you have to have surgery. I'm so sorry. Casey! Hey, girl! How's it going? Alright, so now we're going to move to the top row. I'm going to put the red all on the top row. And, you know, sometimes you have a lot of, you know, mesh left over that you use for different projects. So, you know, don't be afraid to mix them up and use them. Because you don't want all that mesh sitting around all the time, right? So, just go ahead and use them for different projects. I am making a rooster. I think I put chicken on there, didn't I? Oh, yay! Johnny's going home! Johnny has been in the hospital. I know. I would have loved to have gone to a crafter's convention, but, you know, I can't afford everything, so. 
Um, so glad she's finally going home. Oh no, that's right. You have all those centerpieces to do. Well, you better get busy, girl. Okay, so again, we just cut these to about 20 inches and we're just ruffling them. Okay. I'm happy. And we put 12 on the bottom row and 6 on the top row. From Cherry Tree, Pennsylvania. Hey, Carol Ann, I don't think I know where that is. tomorrow my daughter's coming over I know you can't do everything I, you, I wish I could but you can't um, tomorrow my daughter's coming over and I'm watching three of hers because she has to take the one to the um, allergist because they're going to test him for um, his peanut allergy to see if he's over it or what's going on with that and then we're going to do corn so, I'm going to do like 100 years tomorrow. So, that'll be a mostly all day. I know you do, right? You can't do it all. I wish I could, but I don't have the money to do it all, right? Hey, Julie. Well, we're glad you're back. Glad you are back. Hey, Lacey. How are you? So make sure, oh, sorry, the dog's barking at something. If you don't get alerts, just click on that little bell up on the live and make sure you click that you get them. Okay, so I think we have one more to go here. Oh. Hey Brenda, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. My husband is from the he's from Pittsburgh. He's from North Hills. All right. So this is the last one on the top. Okay. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm so sorry, you guys. Someone must be walking their dog. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Hey, Audrey. Right? Yeah. You know, just a little touch of the black in there. Not a whole lot because, look. Right? It's got the black and the red. So just a little bit here and there. So now we're going to do the tails. And look how perfect this is. I, okay, so see, let's shoot that dog. <laughs> He's allergic to cleaning. <laughs> My husband's pretty good. Oh yeah, he is a big Pittsburgh Steelers man. Okay, so we're, we're going to use these two for the tails. And then I think we're going to make some bows tonight, which I really, I don't do a lot. I like bows, but so this is what we're going to do. You did! Oh, congratulations! I love puppies. I keep trying to talk my husband into getting another one. <coughs> but he's not going for it. <coughs> Excuse me. I have been making wreaths almost three years now. Okay, so these are cut to 14 inches. 14 or 12? I'm sorry. 12. Did I cut them to 14 or 12? No, I can't remember. 12. And when you cut them at 12, it just allows more of your mesh to show through. Um, you know, it's your preference as to, um, you know, what you want to 
you know, if you want more to show or less to show, whatever, it's totally up to you. So, oh my goodness, I know. Oh, I love puppies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what did you name it? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? And you have to send pictures. Okay, so again, these are cut to 12 inches. I just fold them in half. Um, my favorite method for the wreath base, I would probably have to say the ruffle, which is what I just did. I would say 99.9% .9 of the time I use the ruffle or the, um, or the poof. I don't know. I just kind of get stuck on them and that's what I end up doing. So, hello, hello, hello. Yep, that's right. 12 inches on the ribbon. Yep, exactly. Trouble. Oh, <laughs> That's cute. That is cute. Oh, good, Sandy. Awesome. Thank you. I know I love this ribbon. I, it matched perfectly with the sign. Hey, Christine, how are you? And then I'm not cutting these off yet because... Um, I kind of want to, yes it is, yep, that's my girl, my girl Bailey. Yep. So, yeah, she's just such a sweetie, she's so funny. Hey Lisa, how are you? Yeah, so I think we're going to make a couple bows tonight. I do have a private group, so if anybody's interested in that, just type in group. We meet on Tuesday nights. Yes, you have to send me a picture. Oh my gosh, I love puppies. Like I said, I keep trying to talk my husband into getting another one, but he's not going for it. <laughs> I had a Maltese too. Yeah. But my one um, grandson who's allergic to peanuts is allergic to dogs, so we kind of needed to get one that was a little hypoallergenic, although hypoallergenic. Um, he is still a little allergic, but, you know, he can kind of cope. But. They told my daughter she really shouldn't ever get a dog <laughs> or cats. He's really allergic to cats, too. So, and cashews, really, really, really. That was the worst thing he was allergic to was cashews. Oh, uh, yeah, labs. Yeah, we always, we've had labs. We've had Rottweilers. We've had Maltese's. We've had um, Puggle. But I think, you know, Bailey. I guess she always loved the one you have, but my favorite was, I don't know, I guess all of them. I can't, how can you pick a favorite? It's like picking a favorite kid, right? All right, so we have the bottom row done. Like I said, I don't want to um, do anything with those yet because I know, I'm, I think I'm going to do some bows. Yeah, the labs just shed like crazy. Yeah, and Bailey doesn't shed either. She really is so good like that. She does not shed at all. Though she requires a lot of grooming, which I do myself. Um because, you know, hey Joy, it's a lot of money for grooming too, but that's why I groom her myself. Yeah, that's what she is. She's a Labradoodle. Yep, she's a, well, she was a, 
she was a chocolate labradoodle, labradoodle but now she um, she's really turning gray. No, I don't, Sandra. Mm -mm. Oh, I know. I, my husband, you know, he likes big dogs. And when we got this dog, I wanted a little one. He wanted a bigger one, so we um, compromised. And she's a medium, and she really is the perfect size because she can go anywhere with us, and she does. We, we pretty much take her everywhere with us. Oh, that is a lot of hair, Luann. Well, I'm glad they got it all, Sandy. I'm sure it is It is very, very uh, sore. Yeah, we loved our Roddy. She was my baby. She was definitely, can't see it. She was definitely my baby. She, she was more of a lap dog than this dog is. She was, you know, a, a 95 pound lap dog. Oh, they don't shed too much, the Weimaraners. And why people say they can't find me? Oh my, let's see here. So she can't see it. <clears throat> Trying to, oh boy. All right. Sorry guys, I have someone messaging me that they can't find the um, video. Hey Jane, how are you? So let me get on here and see if I can help her. Alright, where was it now? Sorry guys, see if I can... Okay, here we go. There we go. Alright, hopefully she'll be able to find that. Okay, alright. <clears throat> yeah, she's so good. I mean, she really is a good dog, and she's so good with the kids and everything else. I mean, she just, she's such a good dog. And she travels really well. I mean, our last dog, 125, oh my goodness, wow. Wow. Our last two dogs, the Roddy and um, the other one got car sick. And we just, we couldn't take them anywhere and it was just so sad. I, another, yes, you're the only car, um, <clears throat> another one coming on, Christine, believe it or not. Yeah, I, it's, I, I started another one coming, coming on this weekend. So I've been taking all kinds of things to try and stop it from coming on. <clears throat> Yeah, you're the crazy cat person, Pat. <laughs> no, I'm sure there are other cat people in here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, Pat. Maybe you are. Maybe you are the only cat person. And that's one thing, like, the development I live in, too, there's a ton of dog people. Like, there are a ton. Now, see, Gail says she has Siamese cats, Pat. <clears throat> and Terry says she has cats and dogs. See, you're not alone. <laughs> Were you feeling a little left out, Pat? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking of whoops, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe putting 
the rooster over here. I don't know why I called him a chicken when I did that. And then maybe doing a bow here and then a smaller one here and here. So that's my thoughts. So let me attach Mr. Rooster here. Why I called him a, you know, I don't know. Okay, so I need to get my handy dandy tool out. Where's that? Where's that? Where is it? It's hiding in here. <laughs> there you go, Pat. Some people are chiming in. They like cats too. I mean, sorry, guys. My tool got shoved in here. <clears throat> okay. All right, so that there. So I'm gonna maybe do it here. So I want them on the side. Okay. And I'm gonna do it here. Whoops, down here. Oh, you wanna see him? See how cute he is? Oh. And then probably down there. Hear ya. Do you have a picture? Sounds so cute. Um, the rooster I got from Sims um, Pottery. Okay. Let me do it. Too much stuff in here anymore. Move stuff out of there, I think. There we go. Yes. I do. Right now I am working um, for my son has a window cleaning business and um, whoops and I'm helping him out with just answering emails and stuff. Um, I think you can post it you should be able to post it on here. Okay, so get this going on here. wires in. Oh, you know what I'll do? I will create a post on here for everyone to, um, if you can't post it, for everyone to um, post pictures of their pet. Yes, I am. <laughs> Last one here. Okay, and then I'll figure out where I want this to go. <clears throat> okay, so I think let me cut these down then. So I'm going to put it over here. The ruffles are um, 20 inches. I'm going to put this. The ruffles are 20 inches. I know. It's coming back again. I'm telling you. I had that test done. Remember I told you guys about that test? Um, so I, and they all came back normal levels. So I'm going to go see the allergist. I actually have an appointment tomorrow and see if um, <clears throat> if those levels, I know they're low normal, if um, maybe they can do something. I don't know. 
So we'll see. Sorry. Hey, Darla, how are you? So we'll, I don't know, I'm just, I'm hoping you guys can pray that, you know, maybe they can do something. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to put this little guy down here and through here. I'm hoping so, Bev. I'm just, I get sick at the drop of a hat. I really do, and I'm just kind of a little tired of it because it seems like I just get sick so often and so easily, so that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, cut this one off. Ugh. Well, I don't, I really don't think it's allergies, but I don't know. At this point, I really, honestly, I don't know. No! I did not see that. When was that? <clears throat> was that a while ago? Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around. Oh good. I can't wait. Now again, you don't want to pull your um, sign tight because you, you will pull it in down into the wreath. So you just want to gently pull it. You don't want it because you don't want it to sink down into that wreath. Okay. And you do want to try and get it at two points where there's a crossbar. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't see that. The um, rooster came from Sims Pottery. I know. I just... I'm really getting tired of the sicknesses. <laughs> I just really hoping, hoping, hoping. <clears throat> because I do really feel like it's coming back again. So I was taking a bunch of stuff this weekend, trying to stop it from coming back. Um, so. <clears throat> hey Sandra, how are you? So we will see. I don't have time to be sick all the time. I have too much going on. Yeah, because the last time I was sick for like five weeks. Hey, Cindy, how are you? And I'm like, I don't have time to be sick again for five weeks. <clears throat> I, yeah, I didn't see that today about um, that fire. Okay, so... That rooster's on there. Now let's make some bows. Let's make some bows. Okay. So we have our rooster on there. And then we're going to put some bows on him. Okay. See? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, no, I've never heard of that. Okay. So let's make some bows. Should we use our four in one or the um, or the probo? You want to make the probo or the four in one? What do you guys think? <clears throat> probo or four in one? Mesh. Uh, but I always get this stuff. I really do. I always get this stuff. I um, I get it, and it likes to hang around. So four in one, four in one. Okay, we'll do the four in one. I was gonna pull my pro bow out, but we'll do the four in one. Oh, okay. So this is our hand today into four in one. So for, with the four in one, you build from the bottom up. <clears throat> okay, so let me get. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, we'll start with this one. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yep, you can make the same bow on them. It's just totally a different, um, 
a different style. With the four in one, you build from the bottom up. The Teresa, uh, hi Teresa, the um, chicken came from Sims Pottery. This mat came from, I think, either Joann's or um, <clears throat> I know, right? Friend, it's always something. Um, Joann's or Hobby Lobby or something like that. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to cut like a um, nine inch tail. Put it in our little handy dandy four and one. <clears throat> and we're going to twist it. Okay, we're going to do the six inch loop. Yeah, I do. I always have something going on. And it always likes to hang around forever. <clears throat> oh, if you're a CNA, so you probably get, um, you know, everything under the sun. Okay, so we have two loops at six inches. All right. So maybe we'll make two bows with the four in one and then, hey Dawn, and then maybe we'll make um, a bow with the <clears throat> Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like the Easy Bow Maker compared to this. This just makes bows so much better. Um, about three and a half years. Okay. And when I first started, you guys, I could not make a bow to save my life. I hated making bows. Hey, Sandy, how are you? I just could not, and I had the Easy Bow Maker, and I could not use it. I couldn't figure out how to use it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do three with this. Yeah, it. I, I tell you, the Probo is what really... <clears throat> the Probo is really how I learned how to make my bows. All right, so we're going to do three loops with that. I don't know, I just really, the Probo is what did it for me. Okay, so we have three loops. Okay, now when you build, when you do on the four in one, you're going to build your um, bow from the bottom up, okay? When you do your probo, you build from the top down. Okay, and you kind of want to have your um, loops and everything where you want them when you're making it. Okay, so now we will go to. Let's go to this one. <clears throat> you like your Easy Bow Maker? Everyone likes something different, right? And that's okay. I'm going to do the same size tail. We're going to do three loops. And we're going to do these at five inches. And I'm just moving these out of the way so I can see where my loops. Okay. You want to twist, and then get your other loop, two loops. Um, I get them from all over. This, I think, came from, this ribbon came from Sims Pottery as well. I got this um, when I got the, the rooster. Oh, absolutely. Yep, I teach bows in my group all the time. Yep. <clears throat> okay, got that one. 
Yeah, I, I really like that chicken. Okay, so now let's do this one. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just, um, there's one thing, I just never really liked the Easy Bow Maker. Okay, so I'm going to use the 4 inch here, and I'm just going to do probably maybe two loops on this. It does. I love my Pro Bow too. I am the same way. So I think we will probably do um, <clears throat> a bow with that one as well. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Just a simple bow with this one. Okay. Then I'm going to get the zip tie. So I don't want a big bow for two of them, okay? And you want to tighten it, but you don't want to tighten it all of the way, okay? And then you want to twist your tie to the back, okay? And then on the, um, the, um, Oh, no, Anne. No, you don't have to do um, lives. Absolutely not. That's just something that, um, you know, if you want to grow your business eventually, you'll want to do lives, but you do not have to. Absolutely. Nope. That is totally up to you. You don't have to do anything you do not want to do. That's for sure. Okay. And then before you tighten that loop all the way, you're going to get your bow the way you want it, okay? Make sure that's in the back. <clears throat> nope. Like, we, I have people in my group that haven't even made a wreath yet. You know, it's just... You know, learning how to do stuff. That's all. You do what you want to do. I'm just teaching them how to make them. You know, helping someone, you know, I've helped someone open up their Etsy shop, but it's totally what you want to do. There's no pressure. Okay, now you see how you can see that um, zip tie. So what we're going to do, we're going to now tighten that zip tie because we have the bow the way we want it. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm just going to take a little piece of this one. Um, not really anything to be honest. The four in one is just a different, it's very similar. It just does um, more things, Kathy. It really, um, it will, I'll show you the diff, um, where's my easy bow maker? I can find it, it's here somewhere. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking a piece of the one and a half inch and I'm just gonna wrap it around here to cover up that zip tie. I'm just gonna tie it around the back. <clears throat> Okay, and that's just to cover that zip tie up. And cut that off. So, my easy bow maker. Oh, I don't even know where it is. Let's see, because since I got the four in one, I don't use it much. I don't even know where it is. Um, the easy bow maker is just that. It's a bow maker, right? Where the four in one, <clears throat> you can use it for a 
bow maker just like you saw you can use it to um, cut your ribbons like if you want your ribbons 0 to 12 inches if you want to you can um, use this to cut your ribbons right measure it around cut them that way you can use it um, you know for all kinds of things other than that it's just it's a more versatile tool <clears throat> whereas the easy bow maker is just a bow maker right okay so let's put this one on and see what we think so let's see what we think I'm thinking of putting a bigger one up here Slide this through the mesh. <clears throat> okay, hold on. I know my easy bow makers are around here somewhere. <laughs> Easy bow maker now. Okay. So we have this bow. <clears throat> okay. You guys can see that one bow. And then what you want to do is Oh, it do yeah, some of them do. Yep. All right, dovetail the ends. Okay, you can make them shorter. You can make them longer. That one definitely needs to be shorter. Okay. So there's our first bow. Okay, all right, so that's our first bow. All right, and then what I was thinking is making another one for up here, that one, and then we cut these off here. See, a lot of times I don't do bows. A lot of times I just do the um, the tails and I let, you know, I let it go. But tonight I felt like doing some bows. So why not, right? Okay, so let's cut these puppies off. Thank you. Okay. You don't want to hide the ro rooster either. Okay. So, we got that one going. Okay. We'll make it smaller for up here, but let's do the bigger one next on the Probo. See what we end up with, because we might just like that. See where we end up. Okay, so now on the Probo, because I'll show you guys the Probo too. On the Probo, you build from the top to the bottom, right? Okay. Now, oops. And I use this mat underneath it because otherwise, for some reason, 
mine likes to slide all over the place. So I like to put this mat underneath it so it doesn't slide. Okay. Whoops, there goes one of my pegs. Now I did change out my pegs. I like longer pegs. Oh no problem, Lynn. Um, I don't know, it's just my preference. It's totally up to you. It's just my preference. And then I can use this. This is the Probo the Hand. Yes, ma'am. All right, then we need two pieces of wire. No, I haven't made a bow on uh, my live in a long time. So we're going to cut two pieces of wire the same size, about, I don't know, 27, 28 inches, something like that. <coughs> okay. Now your first wire, this is people really get confused by the Pro Bow, but it's really very simple. The first wire is basically just to get your bow started. Okay, you fold them in half. There's the first wire. Oh, really? Okay, so there's our wires. Now, I like to use one and a half inches first. And here's another thing you can use the four in one tool as your um, ribbon holder. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to use this one. This one. And this one. Now see, I would think the um, Probo would be easier on your hand. Okay, so we're going to start with the dot. We're going to dovetail the ends. And we are going to, oh, okay. Now, this is just my version, kind of, of the Damon bow, which I don't know if it's really the Damon bow. It's just my version, what I call it. So what I do is I wrap the... Um, ribbon around it. I gather it together. I take my first wire and I put it around the ribbon. Now in my group I have an overhead view and so you can see close up how to do these bows. And then I wrap it around the peg. Okay, because this wire is basically just to get your bow started and you don't use it for anything else, okay? And then the second wire goes around that little nail on the bottom and then goes underneath. And then I'm gonna cut that one off. And then that goes up there, okay? Then you take your second wire, which is called your helping hand wire, okay? And you put it between this ribbon right there Oh, yeah, it is. And then you feed it to the right of the peg. And then to the back of that ribbon. And you twist it one time. Then I'm going to take the second ribbon. Dovetail the end. Take it to the C. Gather it together, put the tail up there. I'm going to hold this one on the back of that peg, wrap it around this peg, gather it together, twist, wrap it around this peg, twist, and tie it off. I'm going to just get it real tight and then one time, and then cut it off. 
And like I said, in my group, I really, you know, they get a close-up view and um, they can really see how it's done. And I do, like I'll show them with pipe cleaners so it's easier to see what the wire is doing also. So then I'll take the third wire and do, or third ribbon and do the same thing. Um, it's, it's, uh, it, it, I mean, it is a little more, I mean, it's just the pegs, but I really, for me, this was the easiest thing for me to learn on, to be honest. And I, this was my first love in bow making. It really, really was. I just really, I got this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just really understood how to make a bow with this. Whereas the Easy Bow Maker, I just could not, I really couldn't get it. I didn't understand it. I just couldn't get the, the hang of it. And I don't know. Okay, so we're done with those two. But I mean, if, if you're going to get one, honestly, I would suggest the foreign one. You know, it's cheaper. It's only, I think, $14.99. Whereas the Probo, I think, is like $39.99. Yeah, but I have to say, I just really like the bows that the Probo makes. Um, I just think it's easier. I agree, Bev. I have to agree. I just think it's easier to learn. Um, I don't know. And really, it's just the same motion over and over and over again. So once you get the motion down with what you're doing, um, it's just, you know, getting that motion down. Okay, so there's all the one and a half inch ribbon we're going to use. So now we're going to go to the two and a half inch ribbon. So that's done. I'm going to use the red one next. You can't get it tight enough either. Um, yeah, you just really kind of have to, you just have to yank on it. You really do. Yeah, I love my Probo. I do. I do. I have to agree. I have to agree. You really just can't. Now, if you use a 26 gauge wire, it. Um, I think the Probo is like $39.99, Lacey. I always broke my wire when I um, used the Probo that light. So I tend to go with a 20, what is it, 22 gauge wire. It's a little thicker, but I don't break the wire anymore. So, I like the thicker wire. Um, you, you bow dab, yeah. <laughs> it, trust me, I did not like, I'm telling you, bows were my nemesis when I first started making wreaths. I hated, with a passion, making bows. I, if I could tell you one thing, honestly, I hated it. I hated bows. I think that's probably why I don't make a lot now because I just, I really hated them. I really just did not like them. But now I love them. But I, because it just, it really takes a lot of practice. <clears throat> like I couldn't make, I'm telling you, I could not make a bow to save my life when I first started making wreaths. I just did not like them. I really didn't. I hated those. Um, do I have the black one? What did I do with the black one? Oh, one and a half, two and a half. Uh, let's go. Where's my black one? Okay, here it is. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah. 
it, it does. I think it, once you get the hang of it, I think, and I think everyone has their favorite, right? Like, don't you find you have a favorite thing? Like, you have a favorite bow maker. You have a favorite style. You have a favorite, I mean, I don't know. I just think you kind of find your niche and you find what you like and you kind of stick with it. Well, mine was the Pro Bow. Now, finally, since I've gotten the hang of making bows, I really do like... You know, I do, I can, I feel comfortable using the 4-in-1 now and the Easy Bow Maker. Um, but I wouldn't have felt that way, you know, two years ago. I, I'll tell you, I, I hated making bows. <laughs> I did. It is the wires, yes. And that's what confuses people. And that's why in my group, I really, I do your right overhead um, when I do them. And I use pipe cleaners so that you understand where the positioning is of the wires and what the wires do. Because the first wire is basically just to start the bow. That's all that first wire is. It's just to get your bow started. Then your second wire is called the helping hand wire. And it just helps you to hold, because I can let go and the, the ribbon is not going to fall off of the bow okay that's what the wire is for it helps you hold on to your ribbon without it falling off that's all it's for and it, it is confusing and i think that's the hardest part for people yeah right you find your favorite tool and you learn that and you 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 know get good with that and that's what I did with the Easy Bow Maker. Once I had the Easy Bow Maker, then I moved on to, you know, the other things. So, now I'm done with my ribbons. So what I do with my helping hand wire is I just take them and I um, twist them together. Okay, some people cut them off. I just twist them together. <coughs> And it's just, you know, what you like. And it's it's all <clears throat> what you feel comfortable with. And for me, the Pro Bow just clicked. It just, it made sense for me. When I first started, the Easy Bow Maker just confused the heck out of me. I just couldn't get it. I really couldn't. <clears throat> Okay, so that's done. So now we're going to take the wire out from underneath and bring that up. Then we're going to take the wire off of here. Okay, now when you take your wire off of here, what I tell everyone is take your finger and make sure that you have it off of there completely. Then you want to crisscross them and pull this as tight as you can get it and then twist. Okay. Too many Brendas. <laughs> yeah, so the, like I said, the first wire is basically just to get your bow started. The second wire is to hold all of your ribbons into place as you're making your bow. Judy, how are you? Now, the easiest way to get your um, your bow off of here is to take your middle finger off. Yes, your fingers. Okay, and then it comes off just like that. And you can just take these off. Okay. And put that away. Then I will get my fluff box here. <clears throat> well, we're glad to see you, Judy. Okay. I have mine on a little um, 
dolly kind of thing, or not dolly, you know what I mean. Okay, so you put it on here, stand it up, and then wrap it around there. And then you start fluffing your little bow here. fake bows? I don't know what you're talking about. Like the little, um, hey Lucy. Thank you, Lazy Susan. Yes, it works so much better. When you say fake bows, you mean the, um, <clears throat> the bows that you put on your your loops like to kind of kind of putting all my loops down here yeah please let me know when you get your surgery scheduled all right take care Judy glad you stopped by all right now, I just like all my tails at one because I like them all at one end, with, especially with this. Okay. Okay. This out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Let's bring our little thing back. All right. Okay, so we have our other one. See, now this one is actually bigger than this one, the way I made it. Okay, Maybe we'll just put two on. We'll see. See what we think when I get it on. Cheater bow? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Hold on. There we go. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Uh, I'm telling you, trust me, it was not that easy. I did not, I'm telling you, I did not like bows. I hated bows with a passion when I first started. Okay. Bows were my nemesis. <laughs> Okay, and look, they don't have to have the exact same ribbon in it, ribbon in it, right? They can have different ribbons. I think I'm going to move this guy up a little bit. I think is what I'm going to do. The cheater bows. Now that I have my bows on, I think I'm going to move my little chicken around, my little rooster. And see, that's what happens sometimes. Like, I don't put something else on and then you want to move it around, right? So that's why I don't always cut. Um, yeah, it definitely needs to go up and over. So that's why I, um, I don't always cut my... wires that I attach them to, if I can get them undone, because I never know until I get everything on if that's where I'm actually going to want it, right? Yeah, I know, right? But it just, you know, you got to work at it. You just got to keep working at it. <clears throat> yep. Yep.
yeah, I just, I, I really did. I was like, oh, I hate bows. And then when I saw the Pro Bow, and I thought, okay, I'm going to learn that. And what I did with the Pro Bow was I just went to the dollar store, and I bought a bunch of Dollar Tree ribbon. Hey, Sue! And I just made bows over and over and over again with Dollar Tree ribbon and just practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. And then once I felt like I was okay with the Dollar Tree ribbon, then I just, I started, you know, making it with better ribbon. Okay. Yeah, well, I did it after the that, but usually, usually, but, okay, that's better. That's going to be better. That's where I want him. That's where I want him. Find where I'm putting them again. Okay. Okay. Now oh, we're getting getting there. Well, I had them on after the tails. And the bows I put on afterwards, but I just didn't like his position once I got the the um, bows on. I think he needed to be up a little more. All right, so let's do that. See if we like him there. I think that's better. That's better. That's much better. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, sometimes you just gotta move it around a little bit. Right? I know, right, Bev? <laughs> sometimes you just gotta move it around a little bit. Open this one. Oh, there's the wire. Okay. You were at the beach? Oh yeah, I know. I um it's crazy with the people can you know do the stuff with their hands. <clears throat> okay, I think that's I think that's a much better position for him, right? Much better, much better. There we go. Hello, 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 Sue. Okay. There we go. That's better. All right, that's better. Yeah, I think I like it with just the two bows. I don't think it needs a third bow. What do you think, guys? Yes, no, maybe. I think I like them. Um, we are heading to the beach on the 12th. So that is in 11 days. Whoop, whoop. Can't wait. Okay. It works. It's good. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I think he's done. He's so cute. Alright, guys. 
I think that is it for me. I think he's cute. I really like him. Turned out good. I know, right? I like it. Thank you guys too. Have a wonderful evening. And I will be on here Thursday night. And for those of you in my group, I will see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. He's a well done chicken. I like that, Bev. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for sharing. And I will see you Thursday night. Have a good one. Bye, guys.